Okay, we are on our way to North Platte. Last minute change. Yeah, Nebraska. Uh, we Why did we make that change? Well, we were going to camp in Elwood, Nebraska, which would have been funny, but it's 76% humidity and it is hot. And we had a kind of a shorter drive there today. Um, still six, still and, a half six and a half. Still six and a half. And then tomorrow, uh, we had even longer. It was like a nine hour. So, North Platte is going to get us a, uh, a little bit longer drive today, seven something, but a little bit shorter tomorrow. Uh, a brewery and uh, a Marriott. Driving, I don't know, I think we've been six and a half hours, six hours so far, but we're in the middle of a storm. <laughs> we've been trying to skirt around the edges. Of so. this lightning. The yeah, sky is around. amazing. But I think we're missing a lot of the thunder yeah. and lightning. Yeah. So that's, that's good. That's good. So we're going to keep on. Brewing Company in uh, North Platte, um, Nebraska. Nebraska. After a yeah. long drive today, that was beautiful. God, it was great. Back roads, trying to stay out of the storm. But we could see the lightning. So this yeah. was a, this was, you know, we changed, as I think we'll probably cut in earlier, yeah. from camping. I'm so glad yeah. we did. And uh, Pal's Brewing was awesome. Uh, really good pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. then I, their amber was one of the best ambers I've had on the trip. So, yep. um, a good IPA. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of other interesting stuff. Yeah, they had a something that didn't work as well, and so they barrel aged it and had cranberry that they haven't named yet, um, and it had really good. I mean, it tasted like a barrel aged yeah. pale or something. And then they had some jalapeno. It's too spicy. Yeah, like a cream ale. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, but it was good. It was totally interesting, interesting. flavors. Yeah, so, so they're yeah. making good beer. They've been here since 2017, so just a couple years. And we'll hang out. Easy to get to from the town. Oh my God! There's fireflies. There's fireflies. In Nebraska, I had no idea. We gotta go. <laughs> So we're in Nebraska, heading to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Um, kind of getting into that part where you're going past places that you went to on the way out. <laughs> Including, we're going right through Scott's Bluff at just about lunchtime. And that's where Flyover Brewing was. That so, was great. Yeah, we're going to stop. Let's go again. We're also at that point of the trip cool. where, where we do this. <laughs> Seems appropriate. So, um, this sponsored beer is for Scott Jungling, who had rules this time about, you know, sour on a Sunday. And I did drink a sour on a Sunday in Athens, Ohio, at Double we, uh, Kettle. We forgot to film that. I forgot to film. So, um, have, but this is almost better than having a sour, an orange sour, blood orange sour. It's so good. Back at Flyover Brewery in... in? Scott's it's your boss wow. in Nebraska. That's, that's almost as good, and it's about as good as you're going to get. Yeah, so thanks for the books and the sour juggling. See you all soon. Okay, so that was Flyover in uh, Scott's Bluff again. It's good lunch stuff.
Dermopolis. Wyoming. Yep. They can't all be good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we went to One Eye Buffalo <laughs> Brewing. Brewing. I think it was the worst salad I've ever had in my life. Might have been. Uh, beers, you know, mostly thin. Um, their their double IPA was the most drinkable to me. Yeah. IPA like the divorcinator. Yep. Um, didn't find anything else. No. So, if you find yourself in Thermopolis, this is the only game in town. Yep. Except for those stores. So. Highway 26 between Shoshone and Idaho Falls. Stunning, uh, stunningly wow. beautiful. We should do this. Yeah, come uh, this way. And uh, I, you know, I've never seen them up close or you know, in person, and they're kind of impressive. <laughs> Six or something. It's not enough. 